Easy to just say in layman's terms, they just ice cream scooped everything out, all the tissue out, everything. So all that was left with the, was the shell of my breast. My name is Kim Newby. I grew up in Waterloo. I have two children, Corbin and Kevin, four and nine, and I'm married to Chris. I always just knew when I graduated from high school, I'm gonna do hair. Because I had gotten to the point where I was prior to cancer, I wasn't gonna back that down. I wasn't gonna sell my shop or not open a second one. I found out I had cancer in May and I had my surgery on August 5th. I had a double mastectomy with nipple sparing. It was so. a, a, a fog. Even now I don't, it's still a it's fog. Still I remember hearing her say that on the phone and I just got up and left. I said, I have to, I have to go. Called him right away. Called my mom too. I was leaving the salon. I called him and told him, I don't know how I got there because I don't remember driving home. And he was waiting for me on the porch and just carried me in the house. Set me down in a chair and put a blanket over me and I slept the whole weekend. I don't even remember going to the bathroom <laughs> the whole weekend. I didn't eat. It was a lot of just, you know, like you're sad but you're pissed off too, you know? Especially at that point in my life, I felt really healthy. Sunday afternoon, my mom she was carrying laundry baskets upstairs and she's had a double knee replacement. I just thought to myself, I'm not gonna let my mom do this. I'm not gonna sit here and wither away in a chair and have my mom over here raising my kids and trying to fill in for me when I'm physically completely capable of it. So I got up and I, I took a shower and started to get my shit together because I was falling apart that weekend and I don't do that I don't have times like that in my life I just I grab things as they come and pile through them and finish them I have a huge support group I have a lot of really good friends and my family my kids and my husband especially my husband because you don't realize your vows to your spouse until you are living in them through sickness and health he has i mean he's gone to every single appointment i have ever had you know, he remembers things about my diagnosis and my treatment that i don't remember my family my kids my job i love my job thinking about those businesses helped me to recover faster getting to be able to work made me feel better I had decided to open a second salon in February of 2015. And in May, when I found out I had cancer, I decided that that wasn't going to stop me. It almost fueled me more to say, no, I'm not going to quit. It might be a slower speed, but I'm going to finish it. And I had my mastectomy on August 5th and September 1st I opened my second salon. I wanted this salon to be like a first and last name and blush is just very feminine. And then Lede is my mother-in-law's maiden name. When we first went to New Orleans, my mother-in-law had had a stroke and she couldn't walk or talk, but she was a hairstylist when my husband was little. And so that was an immediate connection with us. I wanted to name it after her because she still enjoyed her life. She didn't just stay in the house and cry all day. She still went about as much as possible that she could do. She did do. Sometimes the way you feel determines the way your body reacts. So if you sit and sit and sit and cry and be so then sad, then your body reacts that way. I always try and do everything 100% when it comes to this because I just have so much more fun things to do with my life. I might have cancer inside, but they don't. If I looked at them and I thought that it was making them not be able to be productive or my nine-year-old was behind at school, I would hate for that. Hey, How much? So much. Oh, yeah, you more. Yeah, you more. So if you can get up 
in the morning and look at your kids and say, this is what I have to get up for, I have to get ready. They need to have their regular day. They deserve to have a regular day. I'm done with radiation and when I look in five years, I'm not gonna be thinking about cancer. I have things to do in my life. I have baseball games to go to and I have people's hair to color and I, you know, I have vacations I wanna go on my husband with and there's Christmas next year with my family. I have stuff to do. So I'm not gonna stop and have this overtake me. Having cancer is just like, that's just a bump in my road. It's not gonna, it's not gonna label my life.